our hospital is located in Kamakura City, Japan, just 50 minutes by train from Tokyo and the first samurai capital of Japan in the late 12th century and now is a popular tourist destination. The kidney disease and transplant center has 50 beds in the world and 57 beds in blood purification center. The center includes three divisions. One is blood purification, the second transplant, and the third kidney disease, immunology, and vascular medicine. Through basic and clinical research, we aim for quality improvement in the medical care of kidney disease. Our goal is to prevent kidney disease, not aggravate it, and ensure patients don't lose their lives to it. We say, let's work for the patient, reveal the clinical questions, and publish them. Patient-oriented clinical care based on the philosophy for the patient is considered of great significance. I always teach young residents the importance of thinking of pathophysiology of kidney diseases, why and how. One of our main jobs is help and teach nephrology to doctors in developing countries. We visited nine countries to establish kidney disease management. That's why we are working in the flagship hospital of Tokushukai Group, which is the biggest medical group in Japan and whose core value is all living beings are created equal. Shonen Health Innovation Park, or iPark for short, is Japan's first open innovation ecosystem built on pharmaceutical know-how, located close to SKGH. Here, life sciences players, including bioventures and academic groups, convene and collaborate. We are very happy because we have our own laboratory in iPark, so Center for Clinical and Translational Science affiliated to our hospital is just located next door. We are trying to investigate the efficacy of many kinds of cell therapy for animal model. Young doctors are also working here, trying to get PhD. We pay special attention to CD34 positive hematopoietic stem cells, which have both vasculogenic and anti-inflammatory potentials. One week culture of human peripheral blood mononuclear cells with growth factors increases the number and vasculogenic potentials. We reported that the method had remarkable effects for AKI animal model. We treat the patient with critical limb ischemia on hemodialysis. We use GCSF mobilized human peripheral blood derived autologous CD34 positive cells. The amputation free survival rate was 100% at one year after therapy. This is recently published in journal Stem Cell Translational Medicine and received the government approved state of the art medicine. We are conducting kidney transplant and are ranked as number one in this region regarding the number of cases. Nephrologists actively play an important role in interviewing art patients who want kidney transplant through to post-transplant management together with coordinators. In addition, we have a unique art patient clinic for polycystic kidney disease. More than 100 patients with polycystic kidney disease have been registered during these five years. We need to be careful in managing these patients, also considering genetic factors. In our dialysis center, there are 160 hemodialysis patients and 60 peritoneal dialysis outpatients. Particularly, online hemodialysis are actively applied for hemodialysis patients. We have published so many clinical research papers, mostly on cardiovascular complications in terms of vascular calcifications, particularly the peritoneal arterial disease study here is regarded as a center of excellence. In the PD program, we have a multidisciplinary approach, including nurses and dietitians. Finally, we are also active in the various kinds of apparatus. The total number of outpatient and hospital patients in our center is about 70,000 and 11,000 in one year, respectively. To elucidate the pathophysiology of kidney disease, even if urine abnormality is mild, 
we actively perform renal biopsy in up to 200 cases in a year. Also, we work in treating the patient with acute kidney injury in the emergency or intensive care units, collaborating with the staff working there with continuous renal replacement therapy or plasma exchange. We are aiming to be a legendary hospital since our establishment in 1988. Finally, next year, Medical University will open. Thank you.